Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to attempt to do a large pencil. Uh, if you have a teacher in your family or someone that uh, is an educator, this might be a neat little gift for them. Uh, you can carve a wind spirit into these. And, and so uh, we're going to jump right off into this and we're going to make a kind of a wind spirit. And this is about an inch thick and it's probably about 15, 16 inches long. And uh, so you can find these on Amazon. And we're going to give this a try and see how it goes. So we make our first cut here, our swooping cut. And uh, this looks like pine, what it looks like to me. And so we're going to jump right off into this thing, and get rid of some of this paint off of here, and uh, create a wind spirit here, hopefully. Make sure your tools are good and buff before you sit down at the bench or wherever you sit and carve. All right, again, remember that our center line is very important. And uh, so right about in here, we're going to draw us a line. All right, now we're going to go in here now and create the um, eye planes like we normally would. And we'll just see how this stuff carves. It's a little grainy, but uh, I think with sharp tools, we'll be able to carve right through it. Try to get us a, a good 90 degree angle here the best we can. And you can see we have got our pencil lines there to give, give us a guideline. And then right in here now again, whenever you're working with something this small or any piece, always be aware of where your fingers are at on the back side of the uh, project that you're working on there. So, all right, again, we're undercutting, bringing uh, our knife across there to create the nose, the tip of the nose. So we're going to try to stay within this realm right here where the pencil, the octagon shaped pencil so this will kind of give us a, a, a barrier here to stay within, or a guideline to stay within. Alrighty, so let's go a little deeper here on the nose area. And let's bring this right on down. Now some of these pencils you're going to find that some may carve good. It depends on what type of tree it was so it's going to be a little challenging so be patient but uh, like I said if you have someone who's an educator in your life uh, this would be a fun thing to uh, hang on their wall put you a little hook back here or something or put an eyelet here in the eraser so anyway and they'll remember you that you made them a, a pencil for them a large pencil. So come up with ideas that you can carve on, you know, and so try it. You never know. Might be your might be just right down your alley. I would suggest that you probably paint this guy if you could, because the grain is the darkness the dark areas of the face here and all that. So Anyway, we're getting rid of our pencil marks as we go. Again, I'm going to try to come in here and make this nose stand out a little bit. Okay, now we're going to come in here and we're going to put our stop cuts for the smile lines. Again, whether you have a mustache or whatever you're doing, you got to have your uh, planes. And again, beware, this grain can give away, like on any grain, but especially with this type of wood here, it's very pithy in places. So do watch that. And of course, you know, you could go right on down through here, like we did on one of our videos, create different faces on this pencil. If you just didn't want to do a whole wind spirit, we could do numerous faces on this and give it to someone that 
uses a pencil a lot. Carpenter, you know, whatever. Of course, I know their carpenter's pencils are shaped a little different than these pencils are. Still, it's the thought that counts. All right, so we got a pretty good wide nose there, and that's all right. Again. Again, if it tears, what do we do? We go the other way. Yeah, let's extend this a little bit out. I thought I was going to stay within that realm of the of that ridge there, but let's just bring him more to life here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, pencil in. Let's pencil in our eyes. And we'll see how this how the eyes come out on this thing. Okay, we'll go up just a little higher, try to match the one here on the left. All right, now we're gonna take it like a 1 8 or whichever V tool works best for you and come right in here and okay, let's create the eyelid. Want to be a little ornery right there. There we go. This is definitely not basswood. Some type of a pine. Usually your needle nose, your needle trees like your pines and things is going to be a little bit more pithy and a little bit more uh, rough. But we can carve through it. I believe you can too. All right, let's take our knife now and let's make our series of cuts in the corner of each eye and turning. All right, so far so good. Let's make the cut on top of the eyeball where we can create a shadow in there. Again, our green's going to give away in places. Okay. Again, don't get discouraged by what you're not seeing. You know, just, uh, or expecting, just keep at it. It will come. It will come, believe me. It was time and a point to where I thought, man, this carving is not for me, but I kept at it. Even when you have little hiccups like this right here where the wood is breaking on you, you just go in here and try to your best to make it as... Try to take it and make it as simple as you can in here and try not to take off too much. Okay, all right, now let's go across here to the bridge of the nose, across the bridge of the nose, and do the three cuts for this eye. Okay, let's turn the wood, let's go again. Okay, let's see if we can make a stop cut on top of that eyeball without it giving away. Okay, let's put in the bottom lid. Now we're going to use the 1 8 V for that. I'm going to turn again where I can get the rest of the eye lid there. Okay, now we're going to come back and work on the nose here in just a little bit. But I want to get these eyes completed. And again, remember the deepest part of the eye is next to the nose. All right, let's come in here and tweak this nose some, or we can move on to the beard.
And now we're going to come in here. <clears throat> And uh, we're going to take oh, this number five gouge here. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go with a, a soft V here. And I'm going to come about halfway down and walk it in. Because I'm afraid if I push too hard, the grain is going to give away. And so I'm going to walk my way in. And, and you're going to leave a little jitters there, little, little cuts. But that's all right. And uh, we can smooth those out after a while. All right, let's come up here and create the eyebrow area. And when we create the forehead here, we're going to split it here in just a little bit. That way, and again, we don't have a unibrow. Okay. Uh, we're going to see how this turns out, you know. If it don't turn out, just move right on down further in your pencil and try it again, you know. And try to get rid of all these little fibers that pops up on this needled type wood. These trees that grow with the needles on them it has a tendency to be a a little contrary. But you know, you may not have access to basswood like we do here in the States or wherever. So you may have to come up with your own style of wood. You know, there's sassafras, there's, um, you know, there's also sugar pines and different types out here. So give it a try. That's what I'm doing here today, seeing how this is going to work. <laughs> Okay, well, he's kind of a, gonna kind of soften him up just a little bit here. All right, so let's come in here and start thinking about this mustache. And of course, you know, you can bring it down, bring it up, whatever you like. It's your carving. Make it one longer than the other, make it shorter. All right, just kind of see there in the camera. We can, I know the lines are not very good there, you can see, but we're going to attempt this, all right? So. But right up here, I uh, just came to my mind that there may be a little hair lick going on right about in here. So that's where I go. I, sometimes I'll see something. I'll be like, oh, let's go back up there and visit this. <laughs> okay. Let's start out here and see how this is going to go. I'm just outlining my pencil line with a parting tool here. Okay. Taking short strokes through here. You see that dark streak right there? I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that's going to be kind of an ornery piece right through there. You can see how dark that is right in there? All right. Well, we'll dive into that here in a little bit and see what it is. I 
the same thing over here. It's a little softer down here. Hmm. Of course, I know I'm going with the grain. Never know what's lying underneath paint. Now, you don't have to V this out like this. You could take your knife and just go down through there and make the stop cuts. But, um, his head didn't come off. Just the eraser did. We can glue that back in. Or maybe we can plant flowers in there. All right. Okay, let's take our knife now. We're going to come in here and make our stop cut. Again, don't get too crazy through here. Just take your time. Wood's going to give away here. When I got to this dark spot, well, I mean, it really wants to scoot. So it'll be interesting to see what's underneath there here in just a little bit. Okay. Let's come over here. our cut here all right well I'm interested to see what's behind this A dark spot in the wood. Wouldn't you know, it's probably where a knot is. It's something how the darker spot here would hardly give away. But as you get away from it, it is more easier to carve. Now I'm going to extremes on this guy because it's such a long uh, shaft on this thing. And, uh, but well, we just do a long, long old mustache. And again, if things break, don't, don't go too crazy. Just calm down and just Work it out. Now, when we did hair on a Santa Claus a while back, we are we used a U gouge, but now this is going to be a woolly guy, so we're going to use a V tool to make the hair look like it's more been out in the elements more. And, you know, now with a mustache, too, you don't have to show a mouth. But I, I like showing just a little of a hint of a mouth going on there. Um, I know some carvers who don't, and that's fine. That's why carving is fun. You create and do what you want. If you want a mouth to show, show it. Let's come here and let's um, try the outside here a little bit. Now 
And you just take it a piece at a time. Okay, we're heading down in here to a hard section of the nut, of the wood again. We just may have to blend that in because that is not going to let us cut through there safely and in a good way. So we'll try to come up through here. We may just blend that in. See how this does over here. And if it didn't all cut like that, it'd be all right. That's cutting good. But now, when you get down there in the darker spots, the knots, it's being naughty. If I keep going, I might get into the lead. <laughs> we'll try not to. All right, let's shave off the, the paint. We'll definitely paint this guy. Now, this is going to be tough on your blade, but you know, if you know how to sharpen, it'll be all right. Okay. When you go from a hard piece to basswood, that's boy, you think, man alive. There are a difference in the woods. Tighten up the nose there a little bit. Go from there. And right in there we need to... Okay, let's come in here now and let's put a little of the indication of a mouth going there. Taking our V tool and 
making it right in there. Then we're going to put a stop cut again here to deepen that mouth. Make it look like it's going right back on in there. And it's going to disappear into the wood. And there. And there. And there. Okay. Now let's take our V-tool and kind of smooth up the edges here, get rid of these little fibers that snuck up on us here. And, and we're going to start putting in the hair. Now, I'll tell you what, on his forehead, let's, let's just uh, give him, you know, some hair right through here and right across there. And just... Making that hair flow, disappearing under the band here of the what holds the eraser. Yeah, that's not too bad. Our grainy guy here. Okay, I'm going to sink this in just a little bit there. And then we're going to start putting some hair on this guy. Remember to get rid of any soft, excuse me, sharp edges. Now again, you can go as deep as you want on your mustache here, but for time's sake, we're going to just uh, just do this, about this much here, and then come in and show you uh, how to put in uh, the mustache hair like we did in the one video a while back. So. Cleaning up the edges with your knife. All right. All right, so this is where we're at right now. You can see here, it's this old pine wood's going to be a little bit. Uh, Piffy and whatever, but that's all right. You know, this was fun carving this guy. So now let's start in with some. Got to put some eyebrow hair in. That might calm him down a little bit. And we'll see if this wood will let us. Again, we're just taking our V tool, whatever V tool will fit this area. And don't again, it don't have to be just exactly like mine. You know, you're going to come up with your own tools and in the way of doing things. And so. All this is, is just a guideline, you know, and you'll probably do a better job than I have here, but just keep at it. And to get better at anything, you got to keep it, keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. And some of you are probably about to the point where you're wanting to quit on carving because it ain't looking like so-and-so's. Well, I want to remind you, that don't compare yourself with other carvers or other people you see on the channels. And, uh, you're going to come up with your style of carving, and uh, but learn from everybody you can. <sighs> okay. Because we're here to help one another. Someone helped me, and so now I want to help you, and, and I'm always needing help. Okay. All right, so let's take our V tool here, and um, this is about a quarter, no, a three eight, three sixteenths V, and uh, we're just going to come in. Now again, be careful here. Just use short strokes because of the way this grain is going, and uh, you could be going great all of a sudden, all great all of a sudden, and, and then all of a sudden you are took off your nose or whatever. So use short strokes if you possibly can. Now, when you get down further from the uh, from the uh, face plane, then you could probably go lo longer strokes. But 
Keep them short as you're working your way up toward the nose because you don't want to remove the nose and whatever. But again, if that does happen, well, that's how we learn. Next time we don't take the, such big strokes like that. Now again, I'm going over and I'm not twisting and turning as much here, but I'm not going in a straight line either. It's almost like it's kind of a scooping cut. And that one there went or took off on us there. So we'll have to come back and tweak that just a little bit again. This is kind of tedious, but this is what takes up a lot of your time is putting all this in. But again, have fun doing it. It shouldn't be a dread. It shouldn't be a chore to carve. It should be an enjoyment. You know, there's some days you've got to be in the mood to carve, and I get that. But if you're not carving much, why aren't you? You know, you're never going to be a, a better carver if you don't carve at least once a day. Whether it's five minutes or ten minutes, or if you're just whittling on a stick, you know, keep, your, keep it busy. Keep it busy. And concentrate on what you're doing. Again, always making where, where all that is going. And that way... Okay, hey, that's not too bad there. All right. All right, there's always little places we can hit and do better. All right, now let's go mumble, come over here now to this side. And again, using short strokes close to the nose area. And you're going to be going here and there and everywhere on here. And again, always do your edges. Break those edges up. You can stain this or paint it, but I'm going to try to paint this guy. Just see how this paint does on this pine. And I know some pencils are made out of cedar. And this, I don't know, I think this is pine, but some type of a pine. But if you know, well, you can leave a comment below and let me know. Because it was so hard down in here, we didn't uh, finish out the mustache because we'll let the paint do that part for us. All right, now I'm going to come in here and do, this guy is really wooly. Remember to breathe, relax, and enjoy your carving. Don't get so engrossed in it that you don't breathe and that you don't pay attention to where that blade is going. This will be, you know, when you, when you go out in the woods and you find wood or found wood, they call it, you may come across some pieces that you may bring home and Sometimes you find some interesting things in your found wood. You know, I've, I've talked to carvers who found bullets and, and barbed wire and steeples or staples, whatever you want to call it, for fixing fence. 
just different things. So everything should tell a story. Well, all right. This guy is one wooly looking pencil. And he would definitely be a piece that you can talk about at school or wherever. And uh, again, you know, try something like this. When you see something like this here, why well, give it a shot. You know, you never know. Um, it might be something that you really enjoy doing again. And so as you're winding this down, why well, think about uh, all the, the things that you've let me, let's put his hat back on. He might need his hat. There he goes. He looks better with a red cap on. But anyway, so you can paint his eyes however you like, or if you want to use a micro gouge, go in there and put the pupils in. But you can see here, folks, he's uh, he's kind of a long old bushy-tailed mustache pencil number two guy. So anyway, it's been a joy to have you with us, with us today, and make sure that you like and subscribe and hit the button, and happy carving, and we'll see you soon.